Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Exotic Astrology and today we are going to discuss the transit of Jupiter which is happening in Purva Shada Nakshatra till March 8th as the website dhikpanchang.com says and this will be there till the night of 8th okay uh, according to in in fact morning of 8th according to uh, central european time so you could say by 8th finally jupiter will be entering uttara shada and till then it will be in purva shada and later on it is also going to be retrograde so when uh, it will be retrograde again it will be hovering in purva uttara shada and uh, we, i'll make the retrogression video later but this video is uh, for only Uttarashara, Purvashara transit, okay, which is happening currently. So today is 6th and hopefully for the next one month, 31, 32 days, this transit will be there. And yes, this transit is very important because Saturn has just left Purvashara. So therefore, there are many clues which we can get regarding jupiter from saturn if we just uh, check the transit of saturn which had been in purva shada uh, during the last two years or you could say last three years also especially 2018 and 19 and now saturn has entered uttara shada and it is in capricorn second pada all right so therefore uh, we can also have a look at the houses which saturn rules in the chart to get a clue of what will happen regarding the houses which jupiter rules in the chart okay and the question is who will get uh, affected mostly by by this transit well everybody gets affected but to what extent will you be affected will depend on the dashas which you are running as per vimshotri and as per uh, chara dasha also so for example who will be affected uh, the most among everybody well if you are running the mahadasha antardasha of planets like jupiter or venus then you will be affected mostly by this transit because purvashada is the uh, nakshatra which is ruled by venus venus is the planetary lord of this nakshatra and Jupiter is the lord of the sign of Sagittarius, which is its multicone sign, of course. So Jupiter is in multicone, it is in the sign, in the nakshatra of Venus. So therefore, this is a great time to do activities which we like and which will give us fulfillment in the long run, right? And of course, in um, Charadasha system, if you are running the dasha of a, dual sign which means if you are running the dasha of either sagittarius pisces or gemini or virgo these four are the dual signs because planets in dual signs will aspect the other dual signs and that is the rule so if you are running the chara antar dasha or chara mahadasha of either of these four signs then this transit is going to be very important for you or if you are running the charadasha of the sign where in your horoscope jupiter or venus is placed okay either jupiter or venus so depending on that you will uh, be able to see how the results will manifest for this transit okay so before that let us discuss what is the energy of this transit and what are the lessons that we should be learning for this transit and I will also make the video for Jupiter's transit into Uttara Shada later on, okay? And Jupiter will also enter Capricorn. And therefore, that makes it even more uh, crucial to discuss this, okay? <laughs> uh, Jupiter has been uh, quite fast. And he had entered Sagittarius also from Scorpio last year. Uh, almost in the initial degrees and again went back to Scorpio. So now it's doing the same from Sagittarius. It is going to enter Capricorn and then again it's going to be retrograde. All right. So 
all right and as usual if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it down below and you could watch my other videos uh, on astrology and the Bhagavad Gita playlist and Srimad Bhagavatam playlist and yes God is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him and if you want a consultation from me regarding this transit you can always go to the description section down in the videos all right what is Jupiter and what is Sagittarius and what is Purvashada? Purvashada is the only nakshatra which is having the combination of Jupiter and Venus together, which means the lord of the zodiac sign is Jupiter and the lord of the nakshatra is Venus because the other nakshatras of Venus, which is uh, one Bharani is ruled by Mars, of course. Okay, I mean, Bharani is in Aries, so uh, that is uh, rule. The Lord of Aries is Mars. Okay, so therefore, Purva Falguni also, which is ruled by Venus, is in Leo, so it's lorded by the Sun. So, Mars, Venus, Sun, Venus, Jupiter, Venus. All right, and the uh, signs. Uh, where the Vina and the Jupiter nakshatras fall, they are not in Venusian signs. Okay, so for example, uh, Punar Vasu is not in a Venusian sign because it's in the sign of Mercury, and then the later part is in uh, Cancer, okay, which is Moon. So, similarly, uh, you can check for the others also. So, this is the only nakshatra which has the combined qualities of Jupiter and Venus. So what does this mean when a, a nakshatra is powerful to have links with these two uh, most, uh, the, the greatest of the benefits? Yes, these two are the greatest of the benefits. So what does this mean? It means that we have relatively higher degrees of freedom to make the right choices in life. Why, 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 why do I say that? Because benefits uh, give a feel good factor which is not necessarily always good, but at a mundane level, you can say you are sur surrounded by something or somebody who, with whom you feel good. So uh, it's like counterintuitive uh, that uh, you, you will like to stay with them more and because you like them, you will end up staying with them, right? So it's like a, it's like a circle, actually. You like them, so you stay with them. You stay with them, so you like them. Okay. Of course, it's not necessary that just because you are staying somewhere or you stay with somebody, you like you like that person or you like that place. It's not uh, necessary. But yes, so Jupiter had uh, crossed the Gandanta zone from Scorpio, the last degree of Scorpio, and it entered Sagittarius <clears throat> uh, in November last year. And then also it was in one degree of Sagittarius, Gandanta, and then it crossed over Mula Nakshatra. Okay, and then finally it entered Purvashata Nakshatra. So when Jupiter was in Scorpio, you would have realized that the houses which Jupiter rules in your chart, depending on your ascendant, they see Scorpio is the sign of transformation. So you would have seen 100%. I have seen in my case 1000% and all the people that I know and I have checked their horoscopes, uh, including many other astrologers I have talked to. So they have also told me this, that the houses which uh, Jupiter rules in your chart, there had been major transformation regarding those, uh, regarding those houses, especially the transformation happened uh, last year, April, first week. 2019 why because <clears throat> april 2019 first week uh, around that time jupiter had left scorpio and entered sagittarius by end of march almost i don't remember the exact dates but around first week of april it was there in sagittarius and by yeah the second week it became stationary and retrograde april last year so when the planet, when Jupiter was in Scorpio, then these these energies were very transformative. Okay, so when transformation happens in Scorpio, we think that oh, the job is done. 
no the job is not done the job starts there scorpio is the sign which tells you the things that you need to get rid of therefore you may get rid of something but then what is the next step it's not that you just get rid of it and you just sit and do nothing no you have to fill that area so that filling of the area is done by mula nakshatra which is in sagittarius the first nakshatra in sagittarius so in mula nakshatra you start building grounds for the things that you need to fill for the things that you left or you lost or you were separated from when this planet was in jeshtha nakshatra in the last degrees of scorpio especially in that gandanta zone now what do you do in purvashada so you would have realized uh, the uh, november and december when jupiter was in a mula nakshatra that you got a high level of clarity regarding the things that jupiter rules in your chart and you understood the foundations that you have to lay down okay but now you will realize when it had entered purvashada some time back and that is why i did not make this video uh, before i made it after because uh, generally uh, what happens uh, people can relate more with the transits i have seen uh, once they have already occurred because then they know okay this has happened now how should i use the remaining uh, time of this transit okay because when the transit happens you already come to know the external changes that happen okay so i waited to make this video later and therefore now uh, by now you would have realized the the things that you would need to carry forward when uh, the uh, for when you are trying to fill the gap which uh, happened in jeshta and then the thing that you realized in mula okay so now is the time that you use all your uh, powers all your skills your talents your abilities and the blessings of your gurus and your guides and counselors and uh, the scriptures to fathom how can i continue my path how can i sustain my path okay so it could be anything depending on the houses which jupiter rules in your chart so uh, this time till 8th of march is the best time to do that so i am very sure at least in my case it has happened 100% that i have come to know what are the things that i have to do uh, for this next one year or at least i have got an idea regarding jupiter especially because uh, jupiter has entered purvashada now so you can also check when saturn was in purvashada 2018 and then 19 or you can you can check it yourself regarding the houses which saturn rules in your chart what are the things that happened what are the things that you came to know okay but now there is a difference between the transit of saturn in purvashada and jupiter in purvashada the difference is that you would have realized that when saturn was transiting purvashada now when saturn transits any nakshatra then you 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 know the lessons which are to be learned but then you learn it the hard way which means you you either realize that my my level of knowledge is not enough or i need more knowledge and for that you need to work very hard but when jupiter transits over an nakshatra which saturn has already transited then it's like saying you don't have to do anything new you have to already do something which you were doing but now uh you have to get a proper vision a proper goal because saturn gives you the hard work but jupiter gives you the vision that is why uh jupiter always comes uh before saturn you know, jupiter mahadasha is before saturn mahadasha because if you don't have a goal or a vision then you don't know where, what you should do in life where you should work all right so therefore so now it has been opposite so it's like saying saturn has saturn had already transited the nakshatra we were we, we were confused regarding what to do with the houses which saturn rules but now uh, saturn already did the did the ground work so now when jupiter is transiting that it is high time that we try to gain a vision for life okay regarding the houses which jupiter rules and you will see the houses of jupiter and saturn will be very much linked 
in your horoscope during this transit you will always see okay so you might have to use traits of each other's lordships in each other's houses okay so uh, so therefore this transit is very important and very crucial because just by doing things it doesn't work all the time you also have to know where you are going you have to understand why i am doing what i am doing that is also very important sometimes people they do so many things but they don't know what is the end goal so jupiter comes and tells you hey here is the end goal this is what you will become this is what who you will become this is what you will achieve at the end of the day so that is very 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 crucial that we understand that what will what will be the end result all right so therefore now this is a very good time if you want to take guidance from some of your seniors or from uh, your gurus or any other uh, senior personality in your family all right it's a very good time or from life coaches or from astrologers because these are the people who can give you a vision for your life depending on the area which uh, you are interested in okay it, it may be anything it could be career then you could approach a career counselor or it could be or if you are not happy then you could approach a motivational coach or anything if you want to learn jyotish you can go and join some institute where there is systematic study of jyotish okay and uh, so therefore it's a very good opportunity for us to realize the purpose behind certain things that we are doing all right otherwise uh, we will we will be doing everything but then at the end of the day we will feel uh, all right i did this but why what was the use was it just a external manifestation or did i also want this internally that is the question that we need to ask ourselves all right so saturn has already done the job 99% now jupiter comes and says okay you did this now you know why you did this okay this is what will happen at the end okay so use this time to fathom sit down and think okay i am doing this why this is happening what will happen what could go wrong what could not go wrong all right and you can approach your uh, guides your gurus for counseling that is also a very good option in case you are confused if you already know then that's perfect you don't have to just uh, go on uh, Uh, asking advice from anybody and everybody right so that is it from my side and thank you very much for your patience and if you are new to the channel then please subscribe to it below and you will find my website down in the description section of my videos all right god is there with you all the time just look to him and you will find him